Hey guys, so today I'm making some Korean beef ribs, one of my favorite recipes. I absolutely love Korean style beef ribs. So if you'd like to see how I prepare mine, let's get started with the recipe. Alright guys, so this is the beef I'm using right here. It's beef chuck flanken and it's basically beef ribs sliced very thinly so they cut it very thinly and now what I'm gonna do is cut it up into bite-sized pieces, alright? So after I do that, I'm gonna wash it with a little bit of lime and vinegar and then we're gonna start seasoning it a little. Okay, so we're gonna make a marinade for the beef ribs. So in this bowl, I have a huge piece of ginger. You wanna use a good size piece. And then I also have half of an onion and about two cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna put that into my Nutribullet. You can use a blender. And next, I'm gonna add in some soy sauce, some rice vinegar, and some sesame oil, okay? So mix all of that in your food processor or blender, cover it, and blend it up really well. So now take the marinade, we just blend it, and I'm gonna pour it all over my ribs, all right? You wanna make sure the ribs is fully coated with that good marinade, with all that good flavors. Now I'm gonna season up my beef ribs a little bit with some black pepper. I'm also going to use some salt, of course, some onion powder, garlic powder. And lastly, I'm going to add in some light brown sugar and also some honey. You can use light brown sugar or regular brown sugar. It's totally fine. So next, I'm going to mix everything together and then I'm going to cover the beef ribs and put it into my refrigerator to marinate for at least four hours okay if you can leave it overnight to marinate that'll be perfect so that the ribs absorb all of that good flavor all right guys so my beef is finished marinating so now it's time to start cooking it so the first thing i did was preheat my oven to 400 degrees okay then i got my baking dish and i sprayed it with some non-stick cooking spray and i'm just gonna pour that marinated beef ribs into my baking dish you can spread it out a little and as you can see i left all of that good marinade with the beef to bake okay you don't want to throw it out yet so Spread it out in the baking dish and cover the baking dish with some foil paper and we're going to bake it in the oven for one hour covered. And after one hour your beef ribs should look something like this you guys. So now I'm going to uncover the pan all right, and I'm just giving the ribs a slight mix. And I'm gonna put it right back into the oven to finish cooking so now I'm putting it uncovered into the oven and I'm gonna let it cook until for about 30 more minutes not long at all these ribs won't take that long to cook because it's so thinly cut all right so I just put it back into the oven until it gets a little bit crispy and it's more of this dark brown color right here and the beef ribs is nice and tender okay so if you want you could throw out some liquid before you put it back into the oven to bake so it could crisp up more but I didn't want mine too on the crispy side if I make it any sense so I left the liquid in there and after it came out I threw out some of the sauce you don't want to throw out all of the sauce because this sauce is absolutely delicious all right so yeah and that's basically it you guys once the beef ribs is tender it's finished cooking so it won't like I said it won't take that long to cook at all mine's took about an hour and a half and if you'd like you can mix your right your beef ribs and some cooked white rice together just I just stir fried mine's in my frying pan with a little bit of the sauce from the pan and I added some fresh cilantro you could add some fresh scallion and just cook it together for about three minutes or so and that's a nice quick and easy dish 
right there but yeah or just sub the rice on the side but yeah you guys that's it for today's meal today's recipe um yeah the ribs are so delicious i wanted to eat the whole pan by myself but i didn't so anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you enjoy watching my videos and i will see you guys next time bye